Hello, I'm not doing a lot of videos right now, uh, so um, uh, I have one patron and I will most probably pause that, uh, that uh, thing there, so I can press a button and I say stop, no more uh, funds for me because I'm not uh, giving you anything back, uh, so I will do that, I think, unless, unless I start getting so probably this week, if I'm not active this week with videos, then uh, I will stop it, okay? Um, and um, so um, let's do a little video about this homunculus subject. Something that, that interests me uh, and <clears throat> it's something that I probably will write a bit about in my book. I'm currently only looking into book writing and uh, researching. I, I learned, uh, as I said, I learned a bit of uh, Mandarin, Chinese and the basis of the Asian languages um, to, to, to be able to understand the meaning of uh, Taoism. I did that. And I am very, it paid off. I am now very happy and I have things, things to present, but not today. And um, I will instead talk about hom homunculus, which is something that is also very interesting. And it's not much talk, it's not, it's not, not much talk about it. And uh, that's why I am... I'm, I'm going to talk about it a bit, the first person, no, but I had one comment, one comment on YouTube, the, the comment, comment section, someone commented something like, what about homunculus? And I was like, what is that? I have no idea. So I looked it up and after I understood what it was, I did nothing more than that. You know, it's the small guy you have in your head and it's this part that goes like this you see it's um, like that you have uh, some uh, sensory and uh, interaction with this thing here so this is uh, the proportion of the body that is represented by feeling you know you have a lot of feeling in your hand a lot in your lips and you have like this um, so, but homunculus is actually older than this and uh, it started um, way, way back before, before uh, uh, mankind knew anything about, uh, about uh, biology. Uh, they didn't know much about biology. They thought that uh, so this is at in the time of uh, alchemy, alchemy, you know, and at this time uh, they believed that the man, the man seed, you know, the seed of the man uh, becomes a homunculi if you treat it right. It becomes a little man. Um, so there were these uh, funny experiments with this, but. Mm. And then, <clears throat> and why am I talking? Why am I talking about this? Right, I'm talking about it because it's a bit interesting, <clears throat> and there is some connection to my book about it. I don't remember it right now. Uh, uh, but. Um, yeah, I, I know why. I know why I'm talking about it. I, I just searched a bit, a bit in my in my book and I found it. But I'm not going to talk specifically about that. But uh, so in there were al alchemy, the time of alchemy, and they thought about this homunculus. But then also the homunculus. So I'm thinking like. <laughs> Again, maybe you can help help me understand this deeper. Maybe it can be more because I don't have 
I don't have a lot about it, but it seems like something important, this homo homunculus. <clears throat> and uh, uh, so it's also important in psychology. So you have, uh, oh, let's have that. You have this idea that in psychology, you have the idea of an homunculi inside your head, a, a little man inside your head that is looking at you, uh, looking at what you see. And this is, this is the idea of the un unconscious mind, you know, there's, an, an, there's something inside the, ha the head that you're not aware of, it's the unconscious, it has, it it's almost has its own will, no, not almost, it has its own will, and this thing inside your head has its own will, and it's basically some kind of small ma man inside your head, and there is this um, um, maybe I should have had uh, some some good explanation here, but um, so the the idea in psychology is that there is some there is something looking out from you, something inside of you looking out and overviewing everything and this is correct first from the perspective of the unconscious but so they they call it the unconscious right now but what maybe they could call it instead is the homunculus idea instead of having uh, a meaty, a meaty part. You have something looking. Think, think of some man sitting inside your head, just like this image here, and uh, uh, it's looking out. But here is the fallacy. They call it a fallacy. It's a paradox. Okay. So if 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 a head is con constructed like you have something sitting inside your head, looking out, then that. Thing must also have a little man sitting inside its head and they call this a fallacy uh, wait I will uh, I will show an image very soon about this okay moment yeah so they they, they call this a fallacy you see um, but yeah, let's make it bigger for a while. So it's supposedly a fallacy. This is a fallacy. You have a man inside your head. You have something inside your head looking out. And this is a fallacy, supposedly. And I just want to bring up the idea that it's not a fallacy. Like, uh, it seems to be, re they seem to be reasoning like this. Since you need a fractal of men inside the head, of other men inside the head, inside the head, inside the head, it's a fallacy. I would say not. It's, it's not a fallacy. So I would like to end it like this. This is just a short video about something that interests me, uh, a random subject. Okay. And... Um, uh, let's see what you have to say, because there is not much talk about this. So, the homunculus argument, it's not a fallacy. It's, uh, it could be like this. We have a man, in, uh, we have someone, like if you're a woman, you have a woman inside your head, inside a woman, inside a woman. And... Mm, or, or, um, or vice versa. A man has a woman inside his head, and that woman has a man inside her head, and that man has a woman. Do you understand? Um, it could be like that also, maybe even more probable like that. Uh, so, um, so, what does this uh, implicate?
if if it's true, if it's really a fractal of people inside your head, what does it implicate? And where does it end? Basically, are you a person in someone else's head? You see? And that's the thing. Most probably you are. You see? You think that you are on the outside, but just like something is shut in, you are shut in to, to this world here, which is a brain, it's a head. You see? It's a head, so you are a homunculus inside this world. Just like the thing inside your head is a homunculus in your head. And there is something inside that. Um, and maybe if you learn to respect what's inside your head, this world here, uh, in, uh, by the rule of as above, so, so below, or as within, so without, by that rule, you should be respected by this world, because you respect what's inside you, the complexity of that person that is um, yeah, um, restrained in, inside you. There is something that is restrained within, within, within you, and just in the same way that you are restrained within this world, you see? Okay, so that's a little talk about homunculus. I will most probably pause this, uh, uh, this little payment and um, unless, unless I'm full of inspiration, uh, I, I am full with inspiration, but I'm doing other things. As I said, I'm writing a book for you guys to enjoy at some time, um, but it takes time, you know, and I want to do it well, and uh, maybe I'm a per perfectionist, believe it or not, uh, so uh, yeah, we'll see, I I if uh, this week continues like it is, or how do you say, uh, let's say next week, okay, if, if, if it's the same way, I'll just pause it, okay. So that's it. Bye-bye.